We were all in Switzerland driving over the Alps, and James was five at the time. And suddenly, out of the blue, he said, when I'm grown up, I want a Porsche. And my husband said, good gracious, no, I'd never buy you anything like a Porsche. I should buy you something nice and safe like a Volvo. And the sulky little voice said, I don't want a Volvo, I want a Porsche. And my husband said, well, a Volvo's all you'll ever get out of me. And for a couple of minutes, there was silence. And then he piped up and said, I'll wait till you're dead and I'll sell the Volvo and buy a Porsche. And we all thought, outrageous little beast. Unfortunately, things are now much more serious. The reason I got my car in the first place was basically, we've lived abroad all our lives. And my father always promised we'd move back to England when my grandfather died, which sure enough he did. So, you know, once he'd sort of popped his clogs, we, we had this house, um, which he did up for about a year. And he then decided he wanted to sell it because he got a rather encouraging offer. And as a form of bribe, he offered my sister and I flats and cars. And sure enough, you know, we never saw the flats and we got fairly shafted on the cars. It was a pity, actually, because we really did desperately want a family home. You know. My husband offered James an upgrade on his car for his 21st birthday. And James took upgrade to be something snazzier, something a bit faster, something sleeker, something more in tune with his image. And my husband had a complete different interpretation. He thought upgrade was something bigger, solider, safer. He kept saying, more metal around you. And there was absolutely no meeting of minds at all. And they just bellowed at each other angrily for two months. The one stipulation my father actually had when, when he was saying, well, I could buy it car-wise, was that I was just not allowed a GTI, whatever happens, you know, regardless of car, as long as it's not a GTI. Is there anything he understands about cars that GTI means speed, which means death. So sure enough, I went out to Renault, my mother, and we discovered the Renault Clio 16V, which means 16 valve, which is, you know, the most lethal car ever. It's equivalent of a GT Turbo. And so sure enough, I went back and I said, look, Dad, you know, honestly, it's, it's a 16V, it's, it means you know, it's got better seat covers and electric windows and that sort of thing. And he was like, oh, fine, fine, okay, that sounds exactly right, you know, you crack on sort of thing. Sure enough, we bought it. He then came in and saw these three oil pressure gauges and went absolutely berserk, went apoplectic, thinking, you know, because he'd seen those in Aston Martin. And it was, it was a horror. When he hears this, I'm going to be in all sorts of trouble as well. My sister was extremely jealous of, of the 21st situation. She got a watch, a very fine watch. I got a car. And as a result, she feels extremely hard done by. She lives in Fulham and comes from this rather sort of Fulham bunch who are very, very nice. And I come from a Chelsea bunch, which is rather more smooth. My friends on the whole are staggeringly rich. I don't mean that sound obnoxious, but a lot of them have household names, whether they'd be chocolate manufacturers or not. And as a result, it's very difficult to compete. And I mean, there's no competition against BMWs and Mercedes, age 19, 20, whatever. But at the same time, I did want to sort of, you know, keep my end up slightly and try not to let the side down. And yeah, this car seemed reasonable enough, really. This is the King's Road, which is my home turf. It's a stomping ground. I've been coming here since I was 13. Love it. Go to all the clubs, all the pubs. Everyone I know hangs out here or lives in Chelsea or Kensington, I suppose, but certainly this is where most people congregate. Sadly, I mean, the problem with the King's Road at the moment is that it's 11.30 in the morning so all these people you see around here are just sort of weekend rabble who are coming shopping. But I love the King's Road. I mean, I don't shop here, but this really is my stamping ground. Absolutely home away from home.
My father and I have a rather strange relationship. I mean, there's some love, but basically love skips generation, and it's mainly based on money. It's a sort of financial situation whereby we have a sort of deal rather than a particularly affectionate relationship. Well, this is something which he proudly tells me anyway, but it's difficult, really. Um, as a result, we, we fight. I mean, he thinks I'm a wastrel, and I think he's, you know, unnecessarily unpleasant. I'm gonna get in so much trouble when he watches this, I really am.